I can sync it up now. Hooligans! Hey! How you doing, guys? Hi. It's been a while since we've seen this, both of us sitting. In the setup, right? Yeah. The setup hasn't happened for a few summers. The, the last time we did JP Squared was live, and what is there, six episodes? Seven? Yeah, I was, I was only watching one not that long ago, like the other night, really, I was looking at it. This is something you can expect to see more often from us now. Because they're not hard to make, and we can do them in the midst of working on something bigger, which is what we're doing now. Yeah, there's, there's fun stuff on the way. Like scripted stuff. Yeah. So, uh, today I wanted to show Jesse the commercials from TV that scarred my childhood and see if they don't uh, bring up some, you know, reminisce some bad memories for him too. All I remember really are good commercials. I can't remember commercials that really, like, disturbed me as a kid. I don't know. They, they were all pretty good <laughs> ones. <laughs> well... That's good for you. I, uh... <laughs> but maybe seeing these, I'll remember like, oh yeah, I didn't like these ones. I was going to go in order of less scarring to more horrible. A ending with what you have, which I guess is not a commercial. Right, I have something. It's not a commercial. It's like a little short film that would play in between the Nickelodeon shows. Right, I haven't seen it. Um, but I'm pretty sure Jesse's probably seen these. So first up, I have this Chef Boyardee commercial. Here we go. Oh, not tonight, sweetie. I've had chef every night this week. I love chef. Yeah, yeah, you can talk. <laughs> you can talk. <laughs> what do you want for dinner? Chef Boyardee. Can we analyze this a little bit? <laughs> okay. What's your initial? Well, I mean, my initial. Right? I mean, yeah. This as soon as I, as soon as I see it, I'm like, I feel like I just watched it yesterday. Yeah, you know, I, I was like, I was, I could almost like, you know, like say every little thing that was gonna happen next. Yeah, this one I remember, you know, all the time. Um, and okay, I don't think it's creepy. I mean, it's it's okay, cute. It's got nice music. Creepy is not creepy is not really the word I would use. <laughs> it's not so okay. It's charming. It's got nice music. I agree. And, like, I I will agree. And I I didn't dislike this commercial until. I was thinking about it when I was a little bit older, thinking, wait, so, like, if you want something bad enough, you can just wish for it, and it'll roll after you? Like, you could just want something, your mom will say no, and then you can still have it? Like, and then what is this at the end? That guy, like, the dad is just lazy there, sleeping Chef on the couch. Did where? Oh. <laughs> Someone's just lazy there, sleeping, not helping mom with that's the, with grandma. I that's think grandma sleeping. That's not <laughs> dad. Like a floral sleep. kind of. Okay, so maybe that's grandma's mom. not helping with making dinner. Uh -huh. Mom is doing all the work. She already said no to Chef Boyardee. What? Like she has it all the time. She's like, you already had it enough this week. How many times do you eat Chef Boyardee in a week? <laughs> I don't know, but regardless, I think I just want to know like what would a real kid's reaction be? Like, would they just smile and pick it up as it's it? Like, like oh, it's a living can of meat, yeah, <laughs> pasta. So not too creepy. Yeah. I don't, the music's nice, but the music it's, helps. It helps it because it's yeah, it's it does because like, it's sweet and it's and it's Italian, like the like yeah. Chef Bardi wishes and it's it was. A little kid and like they're not. Well, I think the main danger. problem. <laughs> no, but the main problem with that is that. Uh, is that it's promoting disobeying your parents, basically. Oh, uh, yeah. That's my main problem. It wasn't with it. her fault. It can... <laughs> it can self-aware and... Yeah, but if don't I... Don't blame the kid for that. I was going to say, if I was a parent. Now that I'm a parent, if a can followed my kid, I would not cook it. I would, <laughs> I would get rid of that thing. <laughs> I might even move. <laughs> Jack Frost Billy. I don't really remember. Something's up. He's got a human arm. He's got a human arm. Campbell's makes everything. He looks happy. Uh, yeah, I mean, the last frame is a little like it's a weird smile. I don't know. It's a weird. It's weird because it's like, does he not care what just happened to him? Like this is like a. <laughs> Well, it's, are all snowmans actually human boys? Because that that's scary. Out the, yeah, they're just okay. That, okay, that's where it gets is like looking at it now with more an adult. Like, what happened? His parents just left him out there. and He froze. <laughs> well, not just that, but his arms turned to sticks too. Oh so, yeah, it doesn't explain the sticks. No, it doesn't explain the sticks. <laughs> the carrot. And so did he just turn into like a snowball, and then like kids just came over and just stuck the, stuck the rest of the stuff like, on him? Just Where'd like, oh, he, this looks like a snowman. He's missing a face. 
No, I don't think so. Uh, but I do remember thinking why it's creepy is that at the, in the middle here, he's like, it's just a snowman that's melting. Like, why would a snowman eat hot soup? And then now he's just melting. Like, his body's falling apart. Oh, uh, I see. Before you, re before you know that it's a kid, it's just the snowman is committing suicide eating the soup. Like, <laughs> it's just not... I don't know. I'm not okay with it. Yeah. I think, I mean, it's not, again, I don't think it was one that, like, I, I don't remember being, like, creeped out. I think I just felt, like, indifferent about all these. Oh, oh really like, different as let's kids. Let's amp yeah. up the fear okay. factor. Okay. Amp up the fear. This is the scariest <laughs> thing I've ever seen. Here we go. Introducing new Fruitomic Punch Gushers with a taste that's gonna oh, drive like you crazy. No, oh, no. no. <laughs> very, very different. Ew. And totally appealing. <laughs> Oh, that His one. Face Didn't that hurt him? I know. What was that? And then, like, they're seizing it. So fruity, they'll really turn your head. Whoa, I'll say. New fruit on the punch gushers. The blast of fruit punch is gonna drive you totally fruity. Oh, okay, the blue guy. The blue guy was creepy in that one. <laughs> they're all creepy. Yeah, now that one, I mean, who doesn't remember that one? That wouldn't. I. Yeah, it's. First of all, it backfired because it made me want to not ever eat a gusher. We always want to eat gushers. You always want to go, first of all, okay, and then when I finally realized, like, I was old enough to understand, like, okay, my head's not going to turn into a fruit, I should try a gusher. They're gross. They're really gross. I know, they're they're not, yeah. Gushers I like is not a sponsor. By the <laughs> fruit by the foot and fruit roll-ups. Oh, those yeah, they're are, way those better. Are good. My brother was more into the, into the gushers. You have this one for me? Okay, yeah, so this... Do you want to preface this? I don't know, it was just like, um, if anyone remembers, like, Nickelodeon, you know, they, they used to have, like... You know, those little in-between... I mean, you know, they had commercials, but they also had, like, little bumpers and, like, little just random kind of stuff. And this was one of them. It was, like, a little short film I just remember playing. And I, this just fr freaked me out. I hated it, and, like, it never... You know, I always remembered this. And it took me... You know, I, I only found this video on YouTube, like, uh, last year, maybe. Somehow I finally found it. It's called Attack of the Giant Vulture. And, uh, it sounds scary. It does. Just watch it. It's weird and creepy. And well, I, I would say I've never seen this or very many nick anything because i'm surprised I well cable. see the thing is i i forgot that it was a vulture i thought you know years later i i always remembered it as a turkey so then like when i went to find it on youtube What's i would search like really? i would search like nickelodeon turkey and like see i got sidetracked for a couple of years there because i forgot it was a vulture i don't know how i found how'd it. you remember it as a vulture somehow i found something somehow i just typed in like what was that old scary nickelodeon thing oh, with the and scary somebody, and somehow somebody eventually you know someone else that. asked the same thing i did oh, okay they want right. to relive their nightmares, so this is... <laughs> let's see. Uh, hope I don't regret this. I don't, think, I don't think Jim Henson made that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was an interesting transition, though. We need to start more things by eating the title. Yeah. <laughs> Just picture being like a six-year-old watching this. I hate sped up stuff like that. They would always scare me. What? He took her to a dungeon? He... He's like in an alley. Vultures. Ew, Look at him. Like bite his... I know. He almost ate her face. This is the scariest scene. Oh. I hate these sped up shots. <laughs> what? Okay, that's kind of funny now, but as a kid, I was too afraid to even. Uh, I hate that shot. Arms. What happened? He tripped or something. Cause it oh, says he stopped at the don't walk sign. He's trying to eat them at a park. Those are real screams. I know. And He's asking him for help. Hey, you guys are my hero. And here's where hero. everything turns around and like hear you. Ah! What is that? What? And now it gets creepy in a different way. <gasps> what? And now for the worst of the worst. Ah! 
isn't that like so uh, disturbing and weird? Like, it just, I hated it. It disturbed me so much. It's, it's unnerving. It starts off, you know, just plain scary and crazy and creepy and the creepy, like, yeah. come on, you're like a seven year old kid or whatever. I don't remember how old I was. That's scary. And to just be in the middle of like, to go from like, to the Rugrats and, and, and you know, cat dog and then all of a sudden, and then back to SpongeBob. It's like, what was that? And then the ending where he, you know, learns, loses his feathers and goes he loses all, his feather, yeah. Then all of a sudden, like, I would go from being scared to almost like, just like sad or something, sad like seeing this. him like that. And then and then he gets stuck on the gum. I used to, I don't know, I, I just it was weird. And then and then and then his dead body, his dead body. Okay. And they're eating him. Yeah. I think like, I'd be a little, a little bit, bit more okay with it if it was if it was either a cartoon or it wasn't kids. Like that's the disturbing part is that there's kids in this like adult. Vulture guy, it's like a some kind of. Ugh. It's, I know, right? It was. Whoever thought of that, we didn't think of that. <laughs> they they didn't think. Any of you guys remember that? I mean, I'm curious if any other Nickelodeon, you know, people grew up in the '90s or whatever. If you remember that one, or anything else that was just scary, let us know. What other <laughs> commercials I, are? I might watch random. them in my free time, but I I don't know if we'll do another show about them unless there's something just horrible. Yeah. Oh, I could say one more thing about the Gushers is Baby Bottle Pop scared me too because their heads turn into baby heads. Yeah, I remember that one. That was that made me not want to have baby bottle pops, which I didn't until I got older and realized my head's not going to turn into a baby, but I should try it. And then it's still gross because it's just sugar. That's what commercials were. You you eat a snack and then like it does something to you. That was like the gimmick. It was That's like you know thing. like eat this and like you your know, airheads. <laughs> your head's going to turn into a balloon. But I don't want that. <laughs> they should have done like you can fly or something because now you're airy. I don't. You know. walk through walls. Yeah, yeah. It'll keep your face from getting any uglier. <laughs> Yes, exactly <laughs> that. To throw back to the Nicktoons thing. <laughs> ah! Don't do that. We just gotta say goodbye. Okay. Um. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>